Hello, friends and family of YouTube. Well, if this is your first time to watch my channel, I normally will just have one camper RV per video. Well, this video will have about eight, maybe 10 in it. And I also will have a part two coming out very soon. So uh, again, if this is the first time you've watched my channel, hey, I don't work for the company that makes the campers or the companies that sell them. So uh, at this particular RV show, there was three dealerships there and I got footage from two of them for you and I've got a lot to show you. So uh, again, this is part one. There will be a part two coming out in just a few days. So hope y'all stick around for that one as well. So uh, check out these campers that I run into. So I'm looking at an Outback by Keystone. It is a 21-0 URS. So let's go inside and check this out. It's got a pretty, pretty neat layout to it. Everything's a little different than what I'm used to seeing. On the very front, that's where they've got your bunks at. And got a little storage right here as well, right as you come in. And right across from the door entry, you've got a small bathroom. It's got all just the bare necessities. You've got your shower, your sink, and uh, and this looks like it's uh, porcelain. Yeah, so that's a uh, porcelain commode. And right across from there, you've got a uh, small little kitchen. And since I am at an RV show, I'm gonna have to go through these pretty quick because unfortunately, a lot of times I'll be holding up people from getting to check these out. And you can see here, this is a dinette. This dinette will also lift up, of course, where you can sit, sit at the table and eat. And you've got a little couch right here. But what I think is pretty cool is they've got the slide out the rear of it. So that is facing the rear of the camper. And that slide will come in. The bed goes right over the top of these two right here so that as you're going down the road, it takes up less space. So pretty small camper, but man, it's got a, Got a pretty heavy little punch for the pack here. And got plenty of uh, storage beside the refrigerator. And right now, while nobody's waiting on me to get done, I'll go ahead and show you the inside of the refrigerator freezer combo. And I think right now this unit is carried by Campers Inn. So I will try to get over to Campers Inn one day soon. See if I can't get a, uh, a better video done one a little more thorough but anyway this is uh facing towards the front and there's a microwave that i failed to mention as i said i'm gonna try to do these pretty quick and this is the front facing towards the back pretty sweet and the next one i want to show you is a uh, 187 mk it is a transcend explorer and it's got a three-step entry, so let me go up in here right quick and show you what they've got going on. Got a, uh, looks like a twin-size bed. And I forgot to turn the radio down before I got in here. But uh, anyway, we are facing towards the front, and it's got a good-sized dinette. The dinette is made into a slide. Look how long this kitchen is. This kitchen is, is very long. Man, look at all that storage in here. I love the dark cabinets. And you've got a good size uh, refrigerator freezer combo. Let's see what we got happening here. All right, got a nor cold. And we've got a shower. And it's got one of those areas above the shower to give you a little extra head space. Good size looking uh, bathroom. Man, yeah, I have got to go check this one out. Again, this one will be also over at uh, Camper's Inn. And this is facing from the rear towards the front. Look how much wide open space is right here. Man, that is huge. So yeah, I'll have to get over and check one of these out. And again, that one was a 187 MK and here's you some of the prices and uh, let you know what it's going for these days. Got them pretty well scattered around today in uh, different areas. So smaller units down through the hallway here and then uh, as you get into the larger area of the uh, Civic Center here they have the uh, larger campers but a lot of a lot of the teardrop size ones out here in the in the hallway 
and they've got some of the Wildwood FSX models here. I'm wanting to check those out. It's been a while since I've seen one. Matter of fact, uh, I think it's probably been maybe two to three production years since I've uh, got to lay eyes on one of these. And let's see what we got here. This is a little bit different unit. Check that out as well. We're gonna start with one of these uh, Wildwood FSX. This is a 167 RBK. And uh, it's got the Murphy, Murphy style couch bed system. Let me back up, I'm headed towards the rear of the camper facing towards the front. And uh, so you can see it's got a little bit of storage on both sides of the bed. Got a good size window there, which is also an exit window. And you got a small kitchen. There is no counter space. Look how huge that sink is, but there's no counter space. They would have made a smaller sink. Taking this and turn it sideways, they would have gained some counter space. They could have at least put one of those that would pop up right here to gain you some counter space as well. But you do have the dinette right across. So I guess maybe that's what they were thinking you could use as your, uh, your dinette, as your countertop space. And they've got a little bit of uh, bathroom going on back here. It's the full width of the rear of the camper. So they've got a pretty decent size bathroom back here. And it's about probably uh, four foot wide. Got a good bit of storage in there as well. And again, I am at the very back of the camper. Now I'm facing towards the front. And I did not show you, but right here is your refrigerator right, right across from the, uh, the dinette. All right, so let's go check out another. And this one is a 179 DBK. And this also is a Murphy bed type system. You can see the, there's the, uh, Murphy couch up underneath the bed and you've got a looks like maybe an RV queen size storage on both sides of the bed of course we are facing towards the front and this one has the same issue that the other one had as far as the uh, kitchen area goes there's not a lot of prep space area there matter of fact none but over uh, right across from there is your dinette. The difference between this one and the last one is you do have uh, your bunks back here versus the uh, bathroom going all the way across the back. You do still, however, of course, have a bathroom. It's just a corner bath instead of, a, uh, instead of the bathroom going all the way across. And you do have a over under refrigerator freezer right there. And again, I am facing towards the rear of the camper. This is a 179 DBK. And to give you an idea of what this one's going for, there you go. And for those of you that are watching my channel for the first time, I normally go through each and every camper for about 10 minutes and show you a lot of details, specs and everything. But today I'm not able to do that. I am just trying to take these as quick as I can and show you as many of them as possible. And this is a Avia 0097. Let me show you the price of this while we're still outside where it's showing the price. Oh, it looks like they've got it priced inside as well. And I would say what they're probably after is some of the uh, Airstream buyers that are not crazy about the Airstream metallic outside. They're more interested in maybe a fiberglass exterior. And that's what this looks like it's trying to compete with because it looks to me like an Airstream on the inside, but it looks like your average camper on the outside. And this is a very hard unit for me to get a, a, a video of. But there's your shower. And here is your bathroom or uh, toilet area right across from there. And again, this is probably one of the most difficult campers I've ever tried to get a video of. Just because of the shape of it, it's very narrow in here trying to get good angles for you. But I am trying to give it my best. I am facing towards the rear of the camper at this particular moment. And looks like this is an RV queen size bed as well. And here we are facing towards the front. It's got plenty of windows. I do like that. 
It's got a very small uh, refrigerator. This uh, Norcold refrigerator here and freezer combo is very, very small. Matter of fact, that's one of the smaller ones that I have seen yet. So, uh, give you an idea based on, there's my hand. Look how small this refrigerator is. But anyway, uh, same with the sink, very small sink. About the size of two hands. It's, uh, I'm not impressed at this price. All right, well, let me see what else I can show you today. Okay, I wanna show you a Sequence 20L is what this one is uh, called. And you can see that, man, uh, you can look at everything from the outside uh, looking in. It's got a pretty nice little layout and it is high enough that I can stand up in there, but I can get you a better video from right here. I like that they put you uh, some little drawers that'll pull out down below. And I don't know if I showed you the price, but there's what it is. And what I've like, would have liked to have seen here is an awning that would come across the back. And then once it came across the back, you could have some walls that, that uh, you could either attach or would collapse from the awning. And that way you could kind of make like an exterior room out of this that way as you're in the shower you would have more elbow space you could also be able to if you did have that awning and some exterior walls you could use this area right here for maybe uh having your dogs or cats or whatever give them a little area to play out here and still be able to have them uh, somewhat enclosed but uh anyway i thought this was pretty nice and especially i like that you could you can film this from outside and still be able to see quite a bit of this particular unit. It's a very tiny TV, but uh, of course you could always upgrade if you wanted to, but you don't need too big of a TV in a unit this small. The TV is about 19 inch. Other than that, everything looks pretty good. It is a, a Dodge. I'm not crazy about Dodge. I, I prefer Ford or Chevy over a Dodge, but it is what it is. So let's see what else they got going on here today. And as I said earlier, this was part one of two part series. So I will have a part two coming out here in just a few days. Hey, if y'all hadn't hit the like and subscribe yet, man, I sure would appreciate it. Thanks for sticking around. Y'all leave me some comments down below. Let me know what y'all liked about the uh, particular campers that I showed you already. And let, let me know what you hope to see in the future. Folks, I appreciate it. See y'all soon. Bye-bye.